Mel from Balancing Mel and today we are going to do a little makeup tutorial yeah anyway let's get to it okay, so I'm using Ferra's um, I think it's I think you pronounce it Ferra it's P-H-O-E-R-A so I think it's Ferra um, but I'm using their soft matte longwear liquid foundation and it is is brilliant it really is brilliant um, it really gives you a lot of coverage so a lot of people like to apply foundation with their hands with their fingers um, I don't I drop it I've got the one of those flat top brushes it's a no-name brush it's not a it was some brush that I got somewhere um, online so okay so I just put a little dollop like that onto the brush and then I just spread it out and then I start patting it in so a lot of people like to do their foundation with a beauty blender um, or these brushes or um, your back in the day those wedge sponges <laughs> I don't even know if you get those in the shops anymore um, but I like to do it with a br with a stapling brush that's what you call it it's a flat top brush but it's a, it's it's a stapling brush so I like to do it with this brush to me it gives better coverage um, in my opinion as you'll see here with a especially on the social side I'll have to put on a little bit extra just to just to cover that a little bit more um, but it's not bad you can just see here mm. no it's actually a, it's, not, it's not bad at all um, okay so I'm just gonna do a little bit extra there on the cheeks which we um, well basically this whole part here is I mean this little melasma spot here is where we want to cover up um, so I know I'm going a little bit thick in with the foundation and this is actually a job for concealer but I sort of just prefer doing it with the foundation I must be very honest with you also this is such a nice foundation it is so lightweight and moisturizing you don't feel like you've got um, foundation on at all okay remember to just here always brush it in so that there's no lines um, a colleague once told me, um, if there's no lines, do you even have makeup on? I'm like, dude, seriously, just cover your lines. Just do it properly. Um, I'm going to half ass it, then just don't do it at all. Kind of, you know? Okay, so I've got my foundation on. You can see this coverage on that rosacea already. Um, and as you can see, it's a, it's a nice dewy sort of... Um, foundation um, what I like about it is that you only use such a little little bit and it just covers your whole face and you don't have to top up on it uh, it really it, it lasts forever um, <laughs> they have no claim here um, about how long it lasts but really it lasts and you can't get this nonsense off with, you can't get off with just plain soap and all face wash. Um, I apply cold pressed grapeseed oil at, when I when I cleanse. So I cleanse my makeup off with a, with a grapeseed oil, and then I go in and wash my face. So I do a you know a double wash in the evenings, um, especially because and the mascara also, which is the same brand. It's like I don't know. That's like it, it just it sits. It really it just sits okay so once the foundation is on you want to go in and conceal if you need to spot conceal you can do that now or you can spot conceal when your whole face is on or you know your but your but your layer your base layer is on and just spot conceal mix up a little bit of the color between the the concealer and the the foundation that you used and um, so my lips are really dry now. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, this is awkward. This is my first um, video that I'm doing 
uh, make a video that I'm doing and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's a little awkward. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm like a professional makeup artist or anything. I just, I just enjoy playing around with it. So take it where it comes from. Anyway, okay. So um, again, here. Um, I will put links in the description to, I know that they are on, for South Africans, they are available on Take A Lot and you can buy from their website. If you are uh, not South African, uh, they are available on Amazon. Okay, now comes the fun part. Now, we've all seen <laughs> these videos and the whole face is just full of spots all colored spots like it's 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 the 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 concealer layer spots and the bronze layer spots and then the blush layer spots and the the conceal uh, the, the the contouring layer spots and the blush layer spots I, it freaks me out when people do that because you go you using way too much product like it at that way you're just using way too much product so because I've got that little melasma there, I like to just conceal a little bit there, just to brighten up that area. Um, then I'd like to just, you know, bring in a little bit of a shoop, a lift there. Okay. Now, I'm one of those people that do take my foundation all the way up to my eye, um, you know, to the waterline. I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing that, um, but we'll just add some concealer there as well. Sorry, I got distracted there for a moment. It, it sounded like child murder, but I think it's the neighbors. Um, that's their problem. Um, okay, so here I do tend to get a little bit red sometimes, and then just a little bit here. And also, don't ask me why I do it, but I started putting concealer on my cheek. And then, um, I just want to try something um, that I saw on a video this week. And I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. So, to uh, just try conceal just above your contour line. Where you're gonna, basically, where you're going to put your bronze. I don't know why. I should actually just find out why that is, why they do it like that. I've got the concealer on. Um, I want to just show you a, a basic contour. Um, I'm using this, it's, I, I don't even know where I got it, at some Chinese shop, I think. Um, so it's, it's nameless. Um, and it's actually a concealer, obviously for darker skin tones, but it works nicely um, as a contour for me um, and it's a nice warm color I know your contour you you mostly want it a little bit colder but for some reason I like this and then I first go in with with creams and then cover with powders so the powder that goes over this on the contour line actually is a bit of a colder color but I mix it a little bit with the bronzer but I'll show you in any case All right so there are many, many, many ways, so, but for now, today, I'm just going to put my shadow here because I just want to make this a nice sharp line. Okay, and then, just to help pop, oh no, that's too much. I'll sort it out now. Okay. Just to help pop your lips a little bit. Um little bit here just again we want to have that nice like a feline sort of look and I started way too low on the side okay and then I've got a little bit of, in my opinion I've got a little bit of a wide nose it's a little bit off you can see it's a little bit squiff um, so what I'm gonna do is um, I actually should have gone in with this before okay so you can see how it's making that shadow so i'm just following on that shadow there and on that shadow there okay and then just to shorten the tip a little bit we just cover it like that and then you can obviously 
wherever you are applying your contour is where you're going to push that back into space it's going to be darker so the light is going to come forward okay so then i use a damp beauty sponge and we just quickly get all of that blended in you can see how it lightens up the the lighter areas and then how it all sort of just comes together somehow um <laughs> yeah makeup has evolved it really has <laughs> it has evolved quite a lot since um uh, since the time i started using makeup um turning 40 in a few weeks don't tell anyone um it's making me nervous i don't want to be there i don't want to be the person who's into 40 but um so this is part of my bucket list this is this is like i'm getting older now and now i want to do something just a little bit for me so that's why i decided to start to channel um so it's just going to be like a nice outlet for me because <sighs> some um, a little bit you see it's a nice warm contour it's it's more of a bronzer actually than it is a contour but it really works as a contour so just softening this line a little bit i don't a little bit too much there So you just want to push these spaces a little bit back and then the lighter spaces we want to bring forward so we're going to you know obviously lighten those up as well use highlights on them um, i've got some nice bronzing and highlighting and blush toppers um from makeup well i didn't get it from them i bought it um okay and then just as a little bit to prime the eyes for eyeshadow you can just go in like this okay all right so again from Farah, i've got this um it doesn't uh peach this is apparently peach it looked a little more peach on their website but it's <laughs> like crazy crazy pigmented so i don't think i think this thing is probably gonna last me my whole life because <laughs> just a little 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 bit like this um and again yeah with blush you have the option for different placements um because i, I i'm doing i'm going to do it like a smoky sort of look so i want to just lift that up but i mean if you put it here on your cheeks like you'll smile and your upper your cheeks then you can actually um it, it, it gives a nice cute youthful sort of glow you know but and i love that shit. can you see how the shears out it's just it's beautiful absolutely beautiful um let's do this side okay so Now, something that I picked up along the line is at this point to do a quick spray with your makeup fixer. I'm not going to do that now because I'm going to make take this makeup off and probably do another look just for another video now, just now. Um, but I am using the Catrice Multi Talent Fixing Spray. It's quite nice. Um, I quite like it. Uh, it doesn't, you know, especially when you've got your, when you've set with your powders and everything, it doesn't, it doesn't mess that up. So, um, yeah, so the trick that I learned was to, at this layer, do a layer of your fixing spray, then set with your powders and another layer of fixing spray, but we're not going to do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you, as soon as I can find my brush. You know, I always look at these YouTubers on the makeup channels or, or the, the, the makeup channels on YouTube and <laughs> the, these people always look so disorganized and I'm like, no, when I make my video, I'm, I'm going to be like super organized. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. So this is Catrice. 
a three-step contour bronze highlight now this is it doesn't really show nicely on the on the camera <coughs> it's actually um, a very nice uh, a little palette so dipping into the contour here so obviously it's nice and conveniently named here for you on the outside so you look like confused though I mean we all know by now which layer is which layer so just gonna do that little bit of a just to give it a sharp angle just soft 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 what's this into that a little bit more I don't want to I don't want to go and make it too dark because um, I don't want it to look di distorted either you know okay so we've got that going okay, let's just blend that out a little bit okay then you've got different sections like here I've got dark the nice jowls are starting to come through. Really, really wish I can just suck it out. And be nice and tight again. And then, you know, double chin. <laughs> What's this trick that they've been doing? I need to I need to actually get a nice cold colour stick concealer for this. But I saw them doing this and then they blended out. And then the shadow is so natural that I don't know we'll see later so when I'm done I'm gonna take a photo in the Sun and then we'll see if the shadow is as natural as they say it is um, okay so for me I think at this point I would with my no shape probably wanted to contour a little bit more here but I'm not gonna do that now um, um, we're gonna do bronzer uh, just a soft 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 stuff because um, this Catrice palette bronzer is really nice but I like the toppers in the Rev uh, the revolution palette more they're really they're stunning they are so beautiful and some swatches for you as well okay so again this highlighter it's it's very light and it's it's all matte. A lot of this you can see is matte. So just going to, you know, there where we want to highlight or make it lighter. Here I'm going to show you a nice trick now. I'm going to do there. Um, but it's not if the. The contour is <laughs> under my nose. <laughs> if the contour worked. Um, yeah, always have some paper towel with you just to just wash everything off and as you have one of those silicone matte thingies just because I like to use and reuse brushes I have a tendency to not um, use different brushes for different applications as you'll see now okay so it might it might look a little um, like you're doing pointless work here because you are covering your face up and then you're coloring it in again I'm just going to make this uh, you'll see now because we've contoured there so it's going to look like it's going to flatten that plane a little bit just show you see how see the difference I should have actually done one side without concealer on so you could properly see the difference okay so whatever's left over on the sponge I just tap it in there for primer and yeah I, I do have like normal you know like everybody's got let me try and squeeze in here um, everybody's got most of most people have like a little bit of lines there so you just need to be careful not to get your product caught up in it so that it looks cakey okay so you can see now how this starts becoming a plane on a similar plane see my eyes are pretty deep set today um i have quite deep set eyes 
um, so I'm just going to add a little bit more there and I'm just adding and adding today that's a good thing I'm not getting ready for work otherwise I would be late okay there we go that looks better Bit, hey? All right, so <clears throat> you can now at this point you can stop. Um, no, you can't stop. I'm lying to you. You can't stop. <laughs> you can't stop yet. Uh, um, okay, so I've got two revolution cheek kits. They, yeah, they call it a cheek kit. This one is don't hold back, and this one here is called fresh perspective and um, I quite enjoy both of them um, and you'll see now why especially when I go in to the Sun later on to take and you know well not in the Sun but outside with natural light to take a nice photo so I like dipping into you know some of these bronzes here and then on this one also there's some bronzes there a lot of them do look the same so you know sometimes we could just play a little bit and just just ah, just do that sort of effect and just tap it off you don't want too much on your face you can rather layer up than take away it's easier to layer up okay so you'll see now it's bringing quite a bronzy line there and then you can also you can take your bronzer here you're going to basically put on your bronzer all the places where the sun would naturally Lighten up your face, which is the same thing you do for your blush and your highlighters. So, I don't know, somebody needs to explain the science behind that to me at some point. Um, I think I might want to put on a little bit more. Actually, no, I'm just gonna use the blush topper here in the first perspective palette. So you can bring it in a little bit closer to your closer to your um, brow bone basically like that and then don't take it down too much unless you want to go for the whole young youthful look which I probably want to but it's too late for that now. <laughs> I like this one. Hmm. Wait until you see the highlights. It's a bit better. Okay, my eyebrows are very sad. Yeah, let's see. I've got, can you see there? I've got like focus. I've got a bold, a bold patch. This is a product of being a teenager in the 90s. 90s were all about these thinly plucked eyebrows and we over plucked our eyebrows so badly that some of it does, just didn't want to grow back anyway so as i say you can stop here and be happy with a beautiful fresh faced look um if you look at it it's nice and dewy it's not it's not too matte it's not too shiny it's actually quite a nice balanced look Okay, for my brows, I'm going to do my brows before I do my makeup so that I can do corrections. Um, again, Farrah, and no, they did not sponsor this video. I just have, um, I love this brand. I used to be such a brand hopper, and um, I'm just going to start on my eyebrow while I'm explaining this. Um, but it's that microblading sort of, I don't know if you can see it like that, but... Yeah, you can see it's got the little combs thingies. Okay. So I'm just going to look off to the mirror instead of the phone because I struggle with this sort of eyebrow pin. Um, Fair, that's where we were. So I discovered the foundation about two, three years back. And... Um, I used to be a brand hopper, you know, whatever's on special, um, it would be Revlon, Maybelline, Rimmel, you know, the, the usual ones. Um, 
so I would use those and then I came across this one on or this uh, Baron's foundation on take a lot and I thought I'd give it I don't know I don't know why I decided to give it a try maybe it wasn't special or I don't know but I haven't looked back since I am a total brand supporter and I am now just I don't know what I'm trying to do there okay I'll try that again okay so now I'm like I refuse to use <laughs> use any other foundation or at least I refuse to buy any other foundation um, I might be open to using others but I mean, I'm not gonna buy it okay so we're putting on way too much here you see I struggle with this thing it's my brows oh the tails aren't really the, the tails aren't full the brows aren't full and I don't like the shape and Sometimes I can't even figure out the shape, but okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just let's just brush this out a bit. <clears throat> I bought one of these what do they call them? Um microblading pens. Microblading IRA pens or whatever. Um a few years back and I can't remember what brand it was. And it just worked so perfectly at every single time. But with this one, I seem to struggle. I don't know. It must be a user error, obviously. <laughs> because everything else in the brand is so awesome. It can't be a brand error. It's a user error. It's simple. I need to cover. I need to cover the grays. If you haven't noticed it now, now you can't unsee it. And you can see I have um, permanent eyeliner. It's something that I, in retrospect... I'm shaking too much. I shouldn't try this. In retrospect, I wish I didn't do... So, it's making me a little weary. Why am I shaking like this today? It's making me a little weary about doing microblading. And I mean, you, you probably saw now. <laughs> I've got some tattoos. It's just a few. It's not a lot. It's not big or anything. It's just... Uh, I'm tattooing your face. I don't know. It's just something that I'm not sure I want to, I don't know if I want to make that sort of commitment to my brows. Um, I am going to also just use the little, uh, what do they call it, lamination lift brow glue. Also, Vera, I, I was sick. I was... Um, Oh, I had bronchitis and I couldn't talk so I did some retail therapy instead um, actually this is the point where I brushed them back to things they came from This one I'm also still trying to figure out. I never really bothered much with my brows. Um, but these days it's like, you know, the look is not finished if the brows aren't on point. Okay, so I've started to add some powder here for the baking. <laughs> Again, it's fairer. Um, and I'm just using this also to prevent any fallout from, from the, the colors that we're going to use now. I'm going to add a little bit here as well. Um, sure, what am I doing? And then we'll just clean that up with a brush later. Um, this is actually a setting powder. Well, I suppose you can bake with set up with setting powder and set with baking powder. I don't see really much of a difference. Um, if it's translucent, it's translucent. So, okay. So, now we're going to start playing with colors. And, um, I should probably have gone for a, like a natural, boring look for my, for my first video, but I am, I'm not, I'm not the type to go into the shallow end and, no, I don't know, I just go full into the deep end, so, um, let's see how this goes. 
So, I've decided I'm going to do a nice wildly smoky eye, uh, inspired by a red espresso. But, again, Farah, I promise you this is not sponsored by them. <laughs> um, they've got these very, very cute, I'm just going to show you the bags. Uh, oh no, it doesn't show, oh, this should, shows it on the the little sleeves that goes over shows you the color there on the bed or the palette there on the back. So, um, there is the Himalayas, and that is what that looks like. It's beautiful, love it. Um, that will be my latte one. Then we've got the Conca, which I'll be using. Um, I'm going to be using this. This one, it's Ruby. And um, then we've got the Andes. It's all mountain ranges, I think. Well, I know the Himalayas and the Rockies and the Andes is. I just don't know about the Conquer. <sighs> okay. And um, I think we can do a matcha latte here. Ne? And then, oh, I love the cover of this one. I mean, the Rockies, how stunning is that and then so I'm going to be using from this one as well so I'll be using um, the Rocky and the Conca for my makeup look again with the brushes I have a bunch of no-name brushes so I'm not going to go through this is this brush and this is what it does I use whatever brush I want for whatever I want so we are going to start with a little bit of a, I think it's called a blender, but a blending brush. I'm going to use this like this. It's got the, a little bit of a, like a domey sort of effect, but yeah, it's nice and soft. These brushes are actually very nice. I got these on take a lot. I think I did say that. Um, okay. And then here on the Rocky, I'm going to use the bright I'm going to just dip into that. I just want to show you that it is very highly pigmented. So if you dip into that, look at the the amount that comes off there. But there is a little bit of fallout because it's so highly pigmented. So you are going to dip in there and tap off before you come near your face. And you're going to put powder because otherwise you should have done your eyes first. So we're going to use this as the transition shade so we're just going to start off now you'll see i'm going just here just above my fold with this one and start the transition there A really nice color. One side always looks more I don't know, like it takes the color better than the other side. I don't know what I don't know how to explain that if that makes sense to you. Okay, so I am going to just add a little bit of this down here on the bottom line really I'm going to have to get a different set of them this because it's strange so I've got a because I've got deep set eyes um, I've got some room to play with down here as well uh, so you can be a lot more creative and I have recently found that reddish colors actually make these brown eyes pop beautifully it's something that i didn't really i took a chance on and i was like very surprised let us go in with on the conca palette swirl it looks a bit orange on the screen but it's not really um <sighs> i 
you'll see there's a lot of pigment okay so we're just going to go just a little bit above where we just made that natural sort of um, eye socket if you want to call it that just a little bit off and you can see the payoff on this is amazing it is so beautiful now you see why I like this brand so much like I have not bought a single product from them you see I put too much on there let's just wipe some off I haven't bought a single product from them that I didn't like everything is just perfect okay, so I know I'm going in a little here um, but we're going to want to brighten that up otherwise it's just going to make you can see how it makes it already before I've done this one look a lot more deep set but it's just because I'm like I don't know I like to color in <laughs> between the lines um, something that I need to work on apparently generally um, the lighter the shade the bigger the brush so when you start going in for darker shades you want to use a smaller brush um, a more detailed brush so that you you know you don't end up with a dark shade in places where you don't want it like with this one you can see there was quite a little bit of smudging but it's okay because we're going to buff all of that a little bit um, we, oh, you can just buff it all over the eyelid because it's just basically working as an underpainting at this point uh, for the product that's going to come and make the look um, so we can just add a little bit of this also there to the bottom It's looking so much nicer in the mirror than it is on the phone. Okay, then let's start with this one. On the the um, the Rocky palette, this one here called Bloodstone. I'm just going to do a very, very slight dab because this is a very dark pigment. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to start here in the corner. It is easier when you look down, <coughs> sorry, um, especially when you're looking down into the phone like that, it, it makes it a little easier to actually see what you're doing. I don't know, I think I'm going to start doing my makeup this way. Just bring that into your, your where that fold is, where your, where your, where your upper lid folds just from here going to work that in ever so little bit um, work that just into that fold so basically around the eyeball and then you can come about halfway with this onto the eyelid as well if you want to um can do the same on this side. I can't do one eye and then do the other eye in completion. I need to do what I'm doing like this. Now back on to the Conquer palette, this ruby color over here. Uh, you can see I've got a different, oh, no, you can't see, a uh, different brush. It's more tapered. I don't know, it's not zooming into it. Oh, not zooming, man, focus. It's not focusing. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not focusing either. Um, just, oh, I, I just broke off. Just, just broke off. What, is that? what happens when you soak brushes? In water instead of just washing them and getting them over and done with. 
Jag vet inte vad jag har gjort nu. Så, nu. Coming from the bottom. We're going to start making a, a nice little cat eye there. See how it's the nice it makes a lift there. Now I love a smoky eye. I'm I'm a little bit boring when it comes to makeup in terms of I'm like now I'm starting to play with colours where I wouldn't do that before. But, um, well, I guess that is, this is not just like with strawberry look to the max. <laughs> it's like, like a really red strawberry. Um, I'm playing with colors a little bit more, which I'm quite enjoying. And I wish I had started with that sooner in my life. But um, I'm still very into my smoky eye. A little bit more. You can see now. With this droopy lid. Oh, it's just a shame. Poor thing. Okay. So at this point, I'm just going to take that original color that we had uh, bright on the Rockies and just with a blending brush I'm just going to blend the edges here a little bit so it's nice and soft I don't want harsh edges and I can just come down with that as well you don't have to take it all the way in um, just here halfway is fine just blend that a little bit And it's okay to go, you know, with your makeup, uh, with a with an eyeshadow, with darker colors, uh, to go up to your brow line there, and blend up to there. Um, it just gives it like such a, I don't know, more sophisticated look, like a like a model type vibe, you know, like supermodel. I wish. <laughs> um, okay, then I've got a nice thin brush here let's see okay i think i know what i'm gonna do here okay so again on the rocky palette midnight here is a little bit of a a sheeny sort of color but it will do what we need it to do bring that up onto the upper lid um, we're gonna blend that out just now into the, the product that is already there on the upper lid okay again I'm not taking it all the way in um, I'm not I'm, I'm like doing like a smoky eye, a cat eye, but I don't want to do the whole feline liner thing with this look. I do want to do it with a different look though. Okay, no, I just, just hit that blending brush and blend it out with that original color. I think now it's time 
no I just I want to I want to darken this up a little bit more it's like now I'm all like go big or go home so we're going back to Ruby and um I just want to darken this sort of wing here darken that a bit Such a beautiful color. So let's just brush all this powder off here and see if we need to make any corrections. You can see how the powder also lightened up that area very nicely for us. And then just we know it's a setting powder, so we're just going to take it all over. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use on this, uh, I don't know, it's like a, like a bronzy sort of color. Um, I picked this up on a whim at a, was that a, like a, one of these Chinese shops or something. And, um. Quite like this is what led me to starting that because I mean it was such a pretty palette and then I started using the reds and I was like shocked at how much it makes the black eye pop okay so I'm gonna just blend that in a little bit there just to give it a little bit of um you can see the difference it makes it looks beautiful doesn't it <laughs> okay I'm oh, enjoying this I was actually thinking I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna feel so stupid standing here doing makeup while talking into my phone. Um, I don't know. I'm quite enjoying this. I think I need to just bring some more of that ruby in there. Just darken that a little bit. You see, so we're making like a whole new crease, basically. Okay. Okay. So, I don't think we need to darken up with... Um, Bronze, ugh, with with a uh, blush here, so I think we're gonna go straight into finishing up the eyes with um, with eyeliner and mascara, doing the lips, and then getting some photos done. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna do a little wing. This I'm also still like, you know, sometimes not entirely sure of myself. Um, sometimes the wind comes up perfectly and then other times it, you see now it was a lot better than I thought this one's drooping because of this eyelid I'm gonna make them droopy equally I never noticed how droopy this eyelid is okay well let's do that then Now we're just going to connect it here. Sorry, I'm just going to have to pull this a little.
making it difficult because it looks fine the moment I look up. But the moment I look down into the into the phone then it's just it looks like a disaster. Okay, now I struggle a little bit with this. Oh, you see, now it's gone too thick. Um I struggle a little bit with a felt liner. So I should have actually maybe rather done this with the um with a brush. No. Okay, I see the problem. Really now? <laughs> what am I going to do with that now? <laughs> Don't think it's going to blend out. Oh, got it. I need to charge my phone. Okay, so if you're going to do falsies, go for it. I'm just going to use my Volume Lift Length No Clump Mascara from, you guessed it, Vera. Okay, so I'm just going to, oh no, I'm definitely going to have to look into the mirror for this one. I'm just going to flick them a little sideways and then do a little bit on the bottom lashes but just on the outer half basically see that okay got the outer half um flip it all to the side and just you know to join that whole cat eye look or smoky eye Whatever. This is my red espresso. And making a mess today. I don't usually make such a mess when I do my makeup. I think it's because I'm nervous of <laughs> filming my makeup, but now I took that one into the middle, so now I'm gonna have to do this one into the middle as well. I'm sure the next looks uh, the next videos will be a little bit more a little bit less awkward than this one okay for my lips as you can see i've got i've got a foolish bottom lip my top lip is a little bit more flat and then here especially on this side it comes in a little bit more so i'm going to overline the top lip a little bit um and then so what i like doing is because my Kickpits bow is not as defined. So I just try and define it a little. And then I go for the overline. Um, the lip liner. Is also Michelle Ori. And the color is pink cinnamon. I've got two color options here so for this look we can be overly dramatic or we can just play down a little bit so I've got soft berry from Michelle Ori which is a beautiful berry color you can see this is like a, a pinkish nudish sort of it's very similar to people that actually have 
fully properly defined and colored lips they they will benefit from this and then we've got this one here which is drama from Farah. so So from the Revolution Cheek Kit, uh, this here is just too die for. Okay, so just going to throw a little bit of that on there. See, we've got almost like a it's a highlight but it's like a bronzy sort of highlight and then we're just gonna ever so slightly onto the top of the cheekbone just to make that pop out a little bit and you can just connect that back up and then you can bring a little bit of that up in here as well um, nothing wrong with a little bit of extra shine okay a little bit on the tip of the nose Cupid's bow. Not working. Okay. And this is the finished look. What do you think? I hate it when they do that. It's like, like, it looks so stupid. Just, yeah. Look at my face. Do you like it or not? 